Animals truly are wonderful. They come in various shapes, sizes, and of course, demeanor. Some look and behave normally, but others are downright weird. As the animals on that stranger end of the spectrum that we're going to be talking about today, Let's start off this video with a creature that looks so strange that people are still having a difficult time believing that it's real. Well, it is real, and it looks as strange in real life as it does in the photo. I'm talking about, of course, the Venezuelan poodle moth. This fuzzy little insect, which looks like a cross between a large moth and a poodle, was discovered back in 2009 by Dr. Arthur Anker of Kyrgyzstan. Its photo, however, went viral a few years later in 2012, with its photo being uploaded for all the internet to see. Thing is, the wrong photo was actually uploaded. It wasn't actually a real animal, but rather a felt-covered model of a similar-looking but totally different silkworm moth as seen here. Hence all the hubbub whether the animal was real or not. Being a new species, not much is known about this insect. Scientists don't even know which family a moth it belongs to just yet. So, whether like other moths, the poodle moth poses a danger to humans, nobody knows just yet. Now, while the poodle moth isn't known to be dangerous, the panda ant definitely is, but not to the extent that its nickname suggests. Panda ants are also known as cow killer ants, a bit of an exaggeration, really, but that doesn't mean that they don't pack a punch. They are very well known for their extremely painful stings that can cause allergic reactions to some people. One strange thing about this creature is the fact that that's not an ant at all. In fact, it's actually a wasp that looks like an ant. Another amazing thing about this creature is the level of sexual dimorphism this species of wasp possesses. It's only the females who have the stingers, but they do lack wings. Males, on the other hand, are stingless, have wings, and have the ability to fly. The differences between the sexes are so jarring that scientists only found out that the two were of the same species when they observed them mating. Males are also much larger than females, and they actually carry the females and fly around during what is called their mating flight. From a creature that's supposed to fly but doesn't, we now move on to an animal that shouldn't be flying but is. Well, flying is a bit stretching it, but this animal can glide a fair distance. This is something that only a few mammals can actually do. This here is the Sunda Kalugo, or the Sunda Flying Lemur. Much like the panda ant, which is called an ant but isn't an ant, the Sunda Flying Lemur isn't a lemur at all. In fact, it was long thought to be related to the flying lemur that can only be found in the Philippines, but it was later found out to be not the case. Rather, it stands out as a species of its own. This animal glides by first climbing the tops of trees before jumping off and deploying its gliding membrane known as the patagium, which connects from its neck, extending along the animal's limbs, down to the tips of its fingers, toes, and nails. The Sunda flying lemur is widely distributed throughout Southeast Asia, ranging from the Sunda Shelf mainland to the other islands, northern Laos, Cambodia, Vietnam, Thailand, Malaysia, Singapore, Brunei, and the many adjacent islands. As strange as the Sunda Kalugo is, it barely compares to this next mammal on our list, which is basically the stuff of our collective nightmares. And mind you, this is with good reason. These are vampire bats, and vampire bats are, much like their fictional namesake, are literally bloodsuckers, feeding on the blood of other organisms to survive. In other words, they're not vegetarians like most bats. These literal vampires can be found in Mexico and in Central and South America. They live in colonies in almost completely dark places such as caves, old wells, hollow trees, and even buildings. Like most other bats, they are nocturnal and they come out of their roosts at night to search for blood, their only source of food. They feed on blood from sleeping cows, pigs, horses, and birds. Though uncommon, vampire bats do occasionally bite humans for blood. See, that's a problem because when they like your blood, they'll come back for seconds and thirds or even fourths if they can get away with it. For reasons still yet unknown, vampire bats tend to feed on the same victim night after night. To make it even worse, scientists have found that the common vampire bat is able to recognize an individual human being just by the sound they make with their breathing, which makes it even creepier. The bilby, like most other animals found only in Australia, looks like a mashup of different creatures. Think of it as a result of a piglet, a rabbit, and Crash Bandicoot all having a weird baby. It's basically Australia's version of the Easter Bunny, and you can see millions of chocolate bilbies lining store shelves all throughout the country when Easter season comes along. The Australian government didn't do this for the sake of being different, though, but rather to raise awareness for the plight of these rare animals. Bilbies once inhabited areas from the Western Australian Wheat Belt to desert grassland regions in Western Australia, the Northern Territory, and Queensland. 
However, the introduction of non-native animals such as foxes into their natural habitat has caused their numbers to dwindle, which fortunately did spark a massive conservation effort to make sure that this strange creature doesn't go extinct. From a cute creature on land, we now move on to something adorable. It's beautiful. Can we step, please? What? Albeit in a very strange way. Coming from the dark depths of the ocean as well. How deep could it be, though? Well, this little key lives almost 4,000 meters down in the Marianas Trench, where most creatures aren't really known for their good looks. But that's why the Dumbo octopus is so strange, named so because of its cute little Dumbo the elephant-like ears atop its 30-centimeter body. This adorable animal also has precious wiggly eyes and a delightful puckered mouth that only adds to its cartoonish looks. These creatures are called umbrella octopuses, which are characterized by their webbed tentacles that give them, well, an umbrella appearance. The effect is something like a starfish with a balloon head emerging from the center. Unlike most octopi, though, this species doesn't chomp and grind food with a beak-like mouth. Instead, it simply swallows its prey whole. Now, this is one creature that no one can swallow whole, and that's because it's covered in spikes. But that's actually not the reason why the echidna made its way into this video. In fact, everything about this animal is strange. For one, this Australian mammal is one of the only two mammals that lay eggs. Each year, the female echidnas lay a single egg about the size of a dime, which she rolls into a kangaroo-like pouch that develops just for the occasion. About 10 days later, her young will hatch and remain in the pouch, lapping up milk secreted by its mother, until it's nearly two months old. They're also one of the oldest animal species on Earth. Echidnas evolved from the monotreme lineage between 20 and 50 million years ago. Although limited fossil records make it impossible to know who its earliest ancestor is, it's thought to have been a terrestrial insectivore similar to the platypus. If you were weirded out by the echidna, just wait till you get a look at the pink fairy armadillo. No, it doesn't have wings or the ability to grant you wishes, but the pink fairy armadillo is quite cute in its own unique way. This unique animal resides in the dry grasslands and sandy plains of central Argentina. This sandy environment works well for the pink fairy armadillo since they are excellent diggers. In fact, they have the ability to completely bury themselves in a matter of seconds. The pink fairy armadillo uses their digging abilities to burrow in areas besides large ant colonies. Ants provide a constant food source for this species of armadillo as well as they may also forage on worms, snails, and plant matter, but ants are their number one choice. Unfortunately, due to habitat destruction, the population of the pink fairy armadillo is decreasing, and they have been listed as threatened since 1970. If spikes aren't your thing, then what about armor? And out of all the armored animals out there, the armadillo girdled lizard is probably the one who looks the strangest. Also known simply as the armadillo lizard, this creature's flattened body is covered by spiny scales which form hard plates across the back. On the other side, they have soft skin, and like their namesake, they have a habit of rolling up that serves to protect their soft skin. These scaly spiked reptiles are very sociable, hardy, and easy to care for. This makes them a great pet lizard for beginners. Any owner is lucky to have one. That is, if you can get one as they're now illegal to export from South Africa. These lizards are carnivores and feed on a variety of insects, which includes beetles and millipedes, and they sometimes feed on scorpions. And when creepy crawlies are scarce, they also go for plant material. Now it's time for the day's best pick. So if you come across something strange online and want to know more about it, just send it on over to us and we'll look into it for you. Who knows? Might even feature it in a future video. Mike, Mike, Mike. <laughs> now, while we do know that pelicans are carnivores, surely they only live on a diet of fish, right? Well, not quite. Pelicans are huge birds with an even bigger mouth. Now, while it's true that they use those beaks to generally scoop up fish, they actually do live on a varied diet and have been known to feed on other birds, whole while still alive. Beaks, wings, feathers, and all. Don't believe me? Watch this video. It all started off as a normal day in the park with kids feeding the birds, when solitary pelican of the group decided that breadcrumbs simply weren't for him. Without warning, it scooped up a pigeon into its large mouth and proceeded to swallow it whole. The poor pigeon tried to get away, but really had no effect. And just to put the topping on the whole cake, this happened in front of what we should now expect to be extraordinarily traumatized children. Ugh, nature's scary. Which of these strange animals weirded you out the most? Let us know down below in the comments. Like the video if you do and leave a comment as well. 
Also, make sure to check out the channel's other amazing content. As always, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Later, everybody.